So as promised, I am going to compare my ordinary metal link tone master against the RS Berkeley Chris Potter mouthpiece because the RS Berkeley one is supposed to be a copy of Chris's link. The first bit for you, I'm going to black the screen out so you can't see me playing and I'll just call each one mouthpiece. Well, I know I've got the link on my link at the moment, I am going to change it around, you never know. <laughs> So in terms of the pieces themselves, they are very, very similar. Okay. I'll do some close-up sh <clears throat> shots for you in a moment, so I'm still struggling with this cold. Um, you know, if you put them both together, my link has a slightly longer facing because it's an eight. Um, but gosh, they side by side look incredibly similar. Let's do... Um, Things you can get in there. <clears throat> but for me, this one, my link, gives me a darker sound. Um, and when I'm playing it, the, the, the darkness is more pronounced. But when I just listened and edited the audio that you've just heard, there's not a huge amount of difference once I've got, you know, once I'm listening back. And this kind of highlights the point I was talking about with that Reads video, that it's really important to be able to record yourself so you understand what your sound is to the listener, because differences that you think are huge are often minimal to the listener, okay? Um, but, I mean, again, I'm really pleased with how well that Potter mouthpiece holds up. Um, you know, provided this is half if not a third of the price of this maybe about half the price of this now um you know if you can't afford that or this is outside your budget this is definitely a mouthpiece to get the only thing that i've noticed is that the um the ridge that's on the link can you see that there i don't know if it's coming across there you go you see it in the video there is not on this one i don't know whether that's a, a copyright issue uh, i can't imagine that um chris potter's link doesn't have that ridge there um, but yeah, it's, it's a kind of it's an interesting topic mouthpiece, and it's something not to go too far down. But a number of you have asked me for this comparison, so there you go, there's the comparison. Um, the next question will be, which one do you prefer, Dan? I'd say the link, but not by a huge amount. You know, not by twice the price. And if I could afford two of these, I'd, you know, for the price of that, or buy this and something else, or buy this and buy £400 worth of 
music or think about actually with that, things like Apple Music, how many, you know, 400 months of, uh, sorry, 40 months, I should say, of Apple Music versus get another mouthpiece, get 40 months of Apple Music and do a lot of listening would do you more favours than kind of spending a load of money on a vintage link. But I've got my vintage link because that's what I want and, you know, it's there, but there's not a huge amount of difference between them. Um, I, I'm really pleased to say I came in, it came into it thinking this has got a hell of a lot more to it, more richness and, you know, I play this all the time, so maybe, I'll, you know, I should get better results, and I haven't played this for months, but there you go. It sounded pretty good, didn't it, to my ears anyway. So it'll be interesting to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments box. <laughs> CDs for me to sell. What a muppet. Oh well. It's gone alright. It's hot. So I just went out to the car to see if there was some CDs in the car and there isn't. So oh, I could have sold loads tonight. Never mind. To work harder and sell them online. <laughs> from the gig absolutely shattered I hope you uh, caught it on Facebook live if you did um, it's like a thousand views on Facebook live which is crazy and the gig was busy so yeah I just feel absolutely exhausted after that so and I head in and head to bed busy day well kind of you know what I mean but uh, enjoyed the gig need to get the guys out more needs to we um, we touch some of the stuff we can touch, but I know we can we can play things better than that. So, but it was I don't want to be a silly perfectionist anyway. There's some good stuff in there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget if you can, please subscribe. I don't know where it's going to be on this new screen, and uh, check out the videos below.